Hello, and welcome to a bonus episode of Knocked Conscious with Mark Poles. Today, we had a conversation with Trista Polo of Plate Story Podcast. She uh, goes around and looks for vanity plates and gets the story behind them. She uh, had the opportunity to uh, interview both myself and my co-host, Chris. Chris has hair metal as a vanity plate, and I have Don't Be Evil, and she will have those on her podcast. Uh, This is a bonus episode because I apologize in advance, but the audio on my end was very poor because I had a bad connection. So my audio is really awful, but Trista sounds great, and Chris uh, sounds really good as well. And the conversation was so good, I at least wanted to share it with everybody. So here it is. Hey, Hey, everybody. Hola. Oh, me? Hi. Oh, Hi, Trista. Trista. Welcome. Welcome. Saying everyone like the world. Yes. Oh, yes. All the peoples. The peoples of the, the world. thousands listening to us right now. That's great. In. Look, when you start saying inappropriate things and the 13 people that listen to us are going to be so up in arms. <laughs> that is probably not going to happen with me. I know. I'm pretty sure that you're very well self-regulated. And on that note, welcome to a long conversation, self-policing type podcast, Trista. Well, and um, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> We're more excited to have you because I love your concept, but Chris seemed to really love your concept when I shared it with him. Absolutely. So, Tr- so Trista, tell us where you're from, what you're doing, and what you have, and then Chris, I'd love for you to share what was so awesome about the podcast or her uh, concept. My name is Trista. I live in the Hudson Valley. Hello. I am, uh, I have a podcast called Trista's Plate Story Podcast. And what I do is I interview people with the story behind their license plate. Because I had this inkling one day that you would choose a license plate, it's more personal than probably people think. And you only get one per car. And so there's probably a story behind it that goes very much deeper than we think just by reading it, if we can even figure it out. Now, it's not always true. Sometimes it's just, I, it's my name, or I just really, really, really love hair metal. But other times, it's very deep. It could be a nod to someone that they lost, a loved one who passed. It could be promoting a business. It could be a healing exploration in their life. It could be a philosophy. So I just find it so fascinating. I'm so fascinated by people. Because I really believe that if we took the time to get to know each other, it would be, we'd be hard pressed, even if we disagree, to dislike each other. Because at the core, we're all just doing the best we can. So it started out as a curiosity, and then it became a mission to have people get to know each other, the drivers on the road, so that we could maybe reduce road rage. Because if I know you, instead of just seeing some random person who's driving really fast past me, I'm going to have a little more kindness and compassion for you because I know that you're just a lot more than your car, your license plate, or your speed. And I'm having a blast. It's super fun to search for the plates and figure out who owns them. And just the whole process, I'm really enjoying. I love that. Yeah, Chris, so you really love it, man. Tell, Tell us, share us. Like, like how, how this podcast resonates with you, dude. That, that was your first podcast, podcast you've ever been, been on. Besides ours. Yeah, of course. Is that well, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm honored. Well, thank you. Um, well, I, I love vanity plates. I don't know why. I don't know why. Probably because road trips when you're a kid and, and you're bored. And I, so I just like the fact that I'm entertained with license plates. Not only the words – of vanity plates, but also the states and what states have what types of plates and the like, oh, Connecticut is the blah, 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 blah state and Maine is the blah, blah, blah state and Florida is the sunshine state and California is the golden state. And so I learned all those things by looking at license plates and what people's license plate frames say and what they say about them and stickers on cars and why people have a million stickers and why people only have one sticker. And so <laughs> all those things in my head. So that just fed right into vanity plates. And then I'm like, Oh my God, there's a podcast about vanity plates. Holy crap. So it just 
fed right into everything that I like. Just driving 20 minutes to Mark's house today, you see stuff. Yes. And I look at I look at every license plate I possibly can. Oh, Montana has a license plate about adopting pets. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's I and I'm sure that half the states have something a lot about that. So yeah. the, your podcast speaks to something that I've been interested in since I was a kid because I get bored. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy so that, that it does. Really, it was really cool. That I was like, wow, it, it's such a novel concept that. I hope that there's more people out there like me that are interested in this. Me too. I just have to find them. Yes. You know, because one of the challenges is it's really, really niche, but it's niche for license plates. Yeah. It's not niche for entrepreneurs or mental health issues or weight loss or, right. you know, healthy gut. There's a, there's a TikTok podcast. All she talks about is how to be better at TikTok. Very, very niche. Mine is human interest stories. So it kind of is the nod from... Humans of New York. Do you guys know the Humans of New York account? No. It sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't know a lot about it. Yeah, very cool. Share so with this, us, please. I will. I, I'm, you couldn't stop me. <laughs> so, Nor would I want no, to, Krista. So there's this guy in New York City. He's a photographer. And for fun, oh, he starts okay. going around yeah, New York okay. City and asking people's permission to take photos of them. Random people, never celebrities, just regular day people. Some of them are homeless. Some of them are Wall Street tykes tycoons and some of them are you know just there visiting from Oklahoma all types of people and he has this way of when he talks to them somehow he's able to get these really really personal details about them and so he starts creating a feed called humans of New York on his Facebook page and it became really popular it has millions of followers now I think he made a book um, with all the different stories he's been interviewed all around and so it's sort of a nod to that, just the humanness of things. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm still trying to build the avatar, though. Are you? Yeah, so if you have any, <laughs> any, so maybe, I mean, we could use Chris as the avatar. Look, Chris, <laughs> talk me into it. Chris is a handsome, beautiful man. <laughs> and I find myself having a hard time to keep my hands off him during every stop it, podcast bro. together. I hear he's single. Yeah, this is, that's, you know, this is true. I, may I, may I, may I, sir? Sure, whatever, dude. Hello to the world. Chris is single. Hit him up. Hit him up. Uh, oh, God. So, Trista, I have a question, uh, if I may, about... Of course. Yeah, is this your only podcast, or do you have another one? For, it's my uh, only uh, podcast currently. I've done others in the past. Okay. And I had two different podcasts where I was a co-host... And what I realized is that I always ended up being the interviewer. Yeah. And I'm like, that's really what I like. Right. Yeah, I like that's... asking the questions and interviewing and, 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 you know, being the Oprah of the show, you know? I, I remember, of, uh, I think the dean or somebody in our commencement speech at college is like, it's better to try to understand than to ask to be understood. Mm. And that was that one resonated with me because I was always the outsider or the different person that was like, I need to be understood, but that won't work. We have to be, if we're on different sports, how can we even be on the same field to play the same game or to speak about the same topic? So with this podcast, this is the question I have is, what's, I hate, I hate to, to be, be on, on the negative, negative side, but I'm, I'm, I'm having, having challenges, challenges with launching. We just, just launched two weeks ago. ago. And, and I'm having, having some challenges. challenges. So, so maybe, maybe you can give me some advice. advice what's, what's the, the most challenging or the least favorite part of any part, part of the podcast? podcast. I'll you. tell you that the thing I am most challenged with is I really do think I have a great thing here. I think we have a lot of wonderful people who get to tell their stories. Some of, and, and in fact, Chris, you're not the only, this is my first time ever being interviewed. I, I actually pride myself in a lot of my interviews are, they just happen to have a license plate and I ask them if they'd be on and they say yes. So I think that's pretty fun. So a challenge that I'm having though is because it's a more broad human interest topic, it is self uh, published, self-produced, self-funded, that finding my audience I'm finding is challenging. There is definitely a science to it. There's somebody I was actually on her podcast 
And so I'm watching from the outside this machine that she created to have a successful podcast. And this thing is running on the, you know, highest octane you could imagine. She has this really interactive Facebook group. She just launched like a month and a half ago. She has over 600 people in her Facebook group already. And it's a really wow. super active one. And I can only imagine she's going to be one of those sorry, people. Sorry, sorry that, that we're going to break, break that record. In, uh, All right. Because we're too recent. Just, just, just saying. All right, you do it. You do it. You do you. Accepted. You do you. Yeah, so I'm just watching this machine, and I asked her about it because I could tell, even before she launched, all the structures that she had in place to have a guest on. She had, I had to sign an agreement. I mean, she was just running like she'd been in business for a really long time. And I asked her where she learned her process because all this pre-launch work that she did, and she said from lots of different places. And, you know, she didn't really have a specific course she recommended or anything, which is sort of like her culmination of knowledge. But I was very impressed with that. And I know that that's a gap for me, knowing I figured I've done a podcast before. I know how to do a podcast. I have the mic. The mic's from when I did a podcast last time. You know, I have the equipment. I know what to do. But because I thought I already know everything, I missed an opportunity to learn what I didn't know. And so that's a challenge is now that I'm already 26 or seven or however many episodes in, it's like I have to reverse engineer how to grow my audience. I missed the opportunity to be new and noteworthy, you know, and I, listen, I have a podcast that I don't advertise. I've never paid for one view or listen. And I'm often number 225 on a chart of podcasts in my category, which I think is social documentary or something like that. Very That's cool. pretty cool. Considering that there are probably hundreds of thousands of podcasts. Everybody said there were going to be a lot of kids born after COVID. I think that there were going to be a lot of podcasts born after yes. COVID. There, there definitely, definitely is more content, content and more listening, listening to content since, since this has taken off. off. Yes. And just, just to, to clarify, clarify, you mentioned, you mentioned new, 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 new and noteworthy. And it, what's funny, funny is that uh, I was, I was very strategic, strategic about, about launching this. I don't, I don't even know if I've done it right. We're only two, two weeks in. We're doing, doing well. It's, it's great. It's beyond my wildest expectations already. Unfortunately, your podcast, the one we're, we're doing, doing, is outside, outside the new noteworthy, noteworthy window. window. So, so hopefully yeah. we'll see noteworthy. noteworthy. So, <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. You're going to be, yeah, it'll be great. Um, you know, I, I just, I think that showing up as though you know nothing is a good place to start. And because you're asking about podcast stuff, what I want to also add is I've done a lot of research and watched a lot of videos and asked a lot of questions and read a lot of answers. How do you get a bigger audience? How do you promote your podcast? And two things I can tell you for absolutely certain. One, don't bother paying for ads. And two, get on as many podcasts as you can as a guest so you have access to an audience of people already listening to podcasts. Yeah. And so that's some great advice that I've picked up. You may have already Absolutely. figured both of those things out, but anybody looking to do a podcast, that's great advice. Thank, Thank you. you. And, and to, to, back, to, to piggyback, piggyback on, on that, that, it took me about two years to actually launch this thing. So, so it's, it's one of those things where I was, in hall, I was, I was so, so afraid, afraid to, to put, put myself out there. there. And when, when we, we just started, started doing it, it, it really took off, and that's where the strategy came in. And, and the, the reason, reason I'm asking is because that's, that's my challenge, is, is engagement, social media. I am on this thing way too much. Aren't we all? Yes. Um, but, but engagement, engagement has a direct, direct correlation to downloads. downloads. I mean, I just, I just started, started engaging and pop, 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 pop. So... Absolutely. So starting a Facebook group of people of like minds that would want the information that you're offering in your podcast is a really good idea. In fact, because you have two different podcasts and they're so different, I might even have a group for each of them so that you can really curate a group and then engage heavily yeah. with topics that surround the topics that you talk about. Absolutely. So maybe not just the things that you cover in the podcast, but things that that avatar would care about that also cares about the topics in your podcast. 
Yeah. And, and I've seen that ultimately, ultimately big, big pictures, pictures I, I own beergoogles.com and notconscious.com. They both forward to the Podbean podcast account, but I hope to buy beer Google on some, some future point. I just, I just don't, don't have that kind of cash. cash. Come on. <laughs> we haven't monetized this thing yet. <laughs> yes, monetizing a podcast. That's a whole other conversation, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So, so of, of all, all the plates, do you, oh, do you have, have a vanity plate? I do. I, I, if she I mean, said no, would we I just have just, to stop right? and be You'd like, you have to like, kick me off your show We'd have right to just now. burn it all down. Just be like, no, just no. No, just no. There's something I wanted to, I have this postcard. I don't have any in arm reach. That but would be this, like if I'm hair metal, but I don't like heavy metal. Like, oh no. Or you just, don't have just, hair? Just like, no, well that's the irony, right? But that's cool. Did Go. you hear that they're coming out with a new um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? I know, it releases in uh, August next month. Are you excited? A wee bit. <laughs> Sandy I thought you might be. Bill, Bill and Ted's <laughs> Excellent Adventure 3. Uh, what's it called? It's, it's called um, the Return. No, of it's Day. called um, Bill and Ted something. The music, something. Anyway, I forget. Well, I've seen it's the, gonna it's, be amazing. Gonna, you know, I'm we excited could only, about it too. If we all had shots and could look it up on the internet, we could have a beer Google's episode right now. <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> it's about what's less important than that. <laughs> Face, face the music. Bill and Ted face the music. Face the music because of all the terrible things that happened after their album or something. That's what it's called. Yes. yes. Spear fingers in jazz hands. Fingers. <laughs> so Trista, you... You uh, asked me a question. What's yes. your vanity plate? What's your, what's your oh, vanity what's my plate? vanity plate? Yes. So I had a vanity plate. I'm going to save you the roller coaster BS that is the story behind the first oh, one. What if we want that story? We want that really? story. Really? You do? Yeah. We love a story. It's Hold a story. on. Wait. Story time. <laughs> we love story time. That's now what I have to tell you. We're all now about story time. Now that there is music intro yeah. and everything. We played a harp. So you I know. I'm, I'm, now I, I'm going to kick it up a notch. <laughs> so I, I've been looking at license plates and I kind of got the bug because I have such a hard time figuring them out. When and was I started this? posting them. When was this? My goodness. I How need a historian. Um, so the plate, the first, this isn't the plate I'm, I have now. So the first plate was maybe, let's say, a year and a half ago. Okay. So I got the, the license plate bug, and I'm like, what do I get? What should I put on my license plate? What do I care enough about that I would put it on my car? And honestly, the answer is very little. <laughs> You know, to put it on my car? I mean, there's a lot of things I care about, but to put it on my license plate so oh, that it's everywhere permanent. I drive... It's like a tattoo for your it. car. It's yeah. more than a tattoo. You can only get one. A tattoo, yeah. you can get as many as you'll fit on your body. But uh, and you have to... S- but the car, you get a new one You in a year. You Actually, in a month, in if new, you don't like it, you get another one. you know how much one. they are in New York? They're 60 bucks. Yeah. And then you pay $30 a year for the privilege to keep it. Yeah, Arizona is actually worse, but we're not going to get it. Is it really? It's excessively you have, worse. Well, you have property taxes and all these other things that we don't pay. Right. But for example, our car registration fee is like a percentage of the value of the car. Oh, yeah. yeah we don't have So that. it's high. Like, I'm from Philadelphia, so it's like $24 for registration mm-hmm. or 36 bucks across the board. Yeah. But ours is like 150 200 $500 a year yeah. wow. for, for the registration. It's terrible. So it's a little different. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, ours well, is very similar. Property taxes. $25 a year. Ridiculous. For the science part and twenty five dollars a year for the vanity part, so it's like yeah. But to get a new one, it's another sixty dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's not like sixty bucks is a lot, but if you're getting one different one every time you change your mind about what you want your vanity plate to be, yeah. I mean, it becomes I, like having you know your nails done. So you, you have a podcast called Title Plate Story. You could probably write it off as an expense. Uh, don't think I'm not. Heck yeah! Good I'm job. amazing at getting the expenses, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so what do I get for my plate? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an online entrepreneur. And the concept of my company is we have uh, what's called a shopping annuity. And the short version of it is we teach you how to buy from yourself so that you get paid to shop. You get paid from people shopping from your network and you can create a residual income. It's been my primary income for over 10 years. 
So I'm like, well, let me do a nod to my business. And then maybe I'll be lucky and somebody will ask me about it and I can talk about my shopping annuity. So I choose paid to shop, PD for paid. I'm not very creative when it comes to these things. And then T-O-S-H-O-P, because we get eight characters in New York. We get a whole what? extra character. Wow. We're one of only two states that gets eight characters. I'm yeah. so California jealous. And- I know you are. I know you are. York. That's horse crap. I know. I know. So it worked against me, though, because then I could type out P-D-T-O-S-H-O-P, paid to shop. So I get my license plate. I am so proud of it. I'm so happy about it. Whenever I, I walk up going. to my car, whenever ahead. I walk up to my car, don't ruin the ending. I, whenever I, I walk up to my car, I'm like, that's me. That's right. I get paid to shop. That's right. I'm like so owning that plate. And I go to meet some friends for dinner, drove all the way to New Jersey. We met, it was like an hour and a half drive. And I get there, we're meeting in this mall to have dinner or whatever. And afterwards we get together toward our cars. And my one friend says, why did you get Photoshop on your car? (laughs) I'm like, excuse me? She said, Photoshop, P-O-T-O-S-H-O-P, Photoshop. And I'm like, that says paid to shop. She's like, no, it doesn't. Because the D looks like an O. Looks like a freaking O. Son of a nutcracker. So I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. Shake it off, shake it off. It's okay, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. I can, I can be with this. I can be with it. I can be with it. I'd be more, I would have asked you why it reads Photoshop. Photoshop, right. I know, exactly. Why wouldn't it be F-O-T-O? Why wouldn't it be, I, I know, I know. So there was just no sense of it, but I let it go. I let it go, I let it go, I let it go, I let it go. I just had this moment, I let it go. Then a friend of mine comes in from Florida. We meet at a Panera, which is what we always do when he comes in from Florida. And we're walking out into the parking lot after we're done and we kind of go by my car and he's like, Photoshop? What's with the Photoshop? Did you change careers and not tell me? I'm like, really? A completely different person who's never met the other one. They don't even know each other exists in the world. And he found the same like meaning to this plate as she did. And like, it's way off. It's way off. And yet, and yet. And yet, and it happened at least one more time. And finally, every time now, I would walk up to the car. I'm like, <laughs> and it just wasn't the Zen piece that I look for in my life. So I said to my husband, do you want this plate? And he's like, yeah, I'll take it. I don't care. I don't care if people think it says, you know, Photoshop. I'm like, okay, good. It's yours. So I go to look and see how do you change over a license plate from you to somebody else. And they're on the, it does on the website. It says you have to call this number. I'm like, wait, DMV wants me to call. (laughs) They actually want me to pick up the phone and talk to a human being. That's weird. So I call, I get all the, you know, things that I have to do. And it's a very specific process. And this is before COVID. So I go into DMV I take the form they want. I press the button I'm supposed to. I wait and wait and wait. And I get to the front and she's surrendering the plate. She's going to have it destroyed. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. That's not what I want. She's like, what do you want? I said, I want to transfer it to another person. This is what I was told I have to do. You have to take it, give it to them, have it put in a locker somewhere in the world. I don't even know where it is. Fort Knox, maybe. And then you get a little tiny slip of paper. I think if you lose the slip of paper, you are effed. I don't know where that paper is, by the way. And then it's in a locker. You have this piece of, it's like, you know, picking up Mission your Mission impossible. Cleaning. Like, yeah. what do you do if you lose the little piece of thing for your dry cleaning? You're, yeah. you're, you're screwed, right? Does Tom Cruise come from the ceiling? Tom Cruise comes from the ceiling. Lockers and get out the exactly. individual vanity plates? That's exactly right. <laughs> Thank you. So Not now done, the done, plate done, is done, somewhere done. in the world. The piece of paper is somewhere. And now I have to get the random generated plate. And, and it's now my car good enough plate. to be what, what you want it to be. be. It's not even paid to shop. It's but I did paid to have it. So <laughs> I was trying to not lose out on my 60 bucks. I agree. So, so now I don't, that's somewhere. I don't even know how to get that. So now I'm like, this is not unusual. Like people go through something to make a license plate choice. And maybe it's not as much of a pain as my situation, but I bet there's more of a story there than it looks. So that's where I got the idea really from the plate is my own personal experience. So I start going on and looking up, Chris, you said this on my episode that you would sometimes go and search different plate options. Yes. So that's what I did. And uh, a friend of mine 
she said, you know, you keep posting all these plates. You should get a license plate plate lady, P-L-8-L-D-Y. And I'm like, oh, that's sort of fun. I sort of like that you're using an eight as part of the word. Like yeah. that's way more creative than I ever would have been. And so I was playing around on the license plate search. And I thought, well, what about plate story? Because it's the story behind the license plate, plate story, P-L-8 story. And I looked and it was available and, but I'm dumb, so I don't actually get it. <laughs> I just take a screenshot of it and I start playing around with it in Photoshop to create the logo for my, my podcast. So I make the logo and then I make a postcard that I can leave around for people because it's hard to find the owner of a license plate unless you work at the DMV, which clearly I do not because I had such a terrible time even trying to get them to do a simple thing. And so I have this really amazing postcard. It shows up from Vistaprint. It's beautiful. I'm about to start handing them out. And I realize this thing is going to go off like rocket ship. Everybody's going to love this podcast. I'm going to have millions of listeners and somebody's going to steal plate story and put it on their car because I'm dumb and I didn't buy the license plate. So now I have like 500 of these postcards that then sit in a closet for six weeks while I wait for plate story to be on the, uh, sorry, um, for plate story to be on my car so that it matches my postcard. Just so you know, I used to have the website acousticband.com. Oh, nice. And I let it go. Oh, no. It's Who? like worth like 15 grand or something. Who owns it now? I don't know, but it's like 15 grand to buy it off GoDaddy or something. Some if you believe somewhere. the story I heard from someone recently, I can't even quote who said this, but if you let a license or if you let a um, URL go, China buys it. And then if you ever want it back, they charge you an arm and a leg. They can do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I let two go actually this week. I had to make sure that you really don't want them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So anyway. my license plate is plate story. That's beautiful. and that's a great story. That is a great. It's a story great plate story. story. So I know that you have a hard stop, and I know it's still a ways down the way. It is. So we're going to chew the fat a little bit, but please let us know when we need to stop. And okay, we'll great. Stop. So now everyone listening knows that when we end, it's my fault. It's yeah. I'm gonna put, you. You will not believe what I'm going to say about you in the pre and post recording of this. Don't even worry about it. Well, everybody's going to be like, why was this episode only an hour and a half long when usually your episodes are 14 hours long? What's yeah. going on here? 13.6. <laughs> They're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. So Notorious. Notoriously long. Does that fit on a plate? Notorious. Notorious. Yes. Um, Christopher. Sir. Christopher. Prior to hair metal. Yes, sir. Did you have a vanity plate as well? Never, sir. Okay. May I share my pr- first... I would love that so much. Let's do it. Trista, would you like to hear this? Because Chris always loves to hear this. I, this is my I'm favorite. always in for a plate story. Oh, Wait, God, do you want my hashtag? Do you want my yeah. hashtag? Yes. 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 Ready? Hashtag plate story. Hashtag pass it on. Plate story, pass it on. Like it. Thank you. <laughs> so, so I don't know if you're familiar with people who upspeak when they talk. Oh, my God. Hell. If they're telling you something or asking you something. And then I'm also not good with the vocal fry. Uh, uh, and then uh, speak and vocal fry is like, hello. Oh my goodness. I was walking. And you're like, are you asking me or telling me? So that's the preface to my plate. Chris and I used to hear like, like the valley girl. Hi. Oh my God. So, so we used to, used to be, like, be like, hi, and then, and then we'd say, say bye, as, as a joke. joke. So, so out, out of the blue, blue I got, got the plate, B-Y-E-E-E-E-E. Bye. Bye. And I walk over to his, to his, to his I think, cubicle, or his, his office, office, actually. He's a big wig. I walked over to his oh, office, and I showed it to him. And Chris, do you remember your reaction a little bit? I don't. I think it is spit take, my friend. You're like, <laughs> but then, then what, what I did was, was I got a second, second plate on the front, front that was three 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 three, 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 I-H. So, so in the, the rear view mirror, mirror, it looked like, hi. And then, and then when, when I, I drove past, past them, them, it would say, bye. 
was just fun. Arizona, you don't have to have a Arizona. You don't have to have a legal plate on the front. In the front. front. Yeah. In New York, uh, do, you do. I think yeah. New York, New York, York California, well, lots of states. You have to have the same plant, same plate front and back. But Arizona, correct. you don't have to. Yeah. Which, so by we, the way, I prefer when it's on front and back because when I'm trolling for plates, <laughs> trolling. When I, self interest then i have an easier time seeing the plate because it's on both the front and the back of the car you see but it's backwards in the mirror who cares i'm trolling i'm actually i go to parking lots in my spare time and i just go through each aisle aisle row of row thank whatever you whatever it takes of the parking lot and i look for vanity plates and when we're not in covid i put one of my little postcards in the handle or if it's a Tesla, which doesn't have the handle, I put it in the window and, um, you know, the little window weather stripper thingy. And now I just take pictures of them because I don't, you know, I don't want people feeling weird about the fact that I was touching their car. And this just in, uh, Trista's direct reasoning, we have a global warming. Burning all that extra fossil fuel. Burning all that extra fossil fuel. Oh, How dare, dare you. you. Well, well, I actually think like like share a story about that one. That's fun. fun. Okay. So, so Global warming's a big thing, and, and it's, it's true. true. It's real. It's, it's happening. happening. But, but in, in like, like 1988, I think Time's Man of the Year was the Earth. Earth. And, and in the story, story they, you know, they did a collage. collage. It was a specific color, color blue. blue. And, and the whole the story was the, the artist or the photographer who drove, drove 350 miles, miles to find that color blue. blue. And, and I'm like, you just destroyed the Earth. That's fine. Okay, cool. So the guy that drove 350 have... miles, what was his vanity plate? I think it was, I use fuel. <laughs> <laughs> it, was probably, it was probably diesel. That was his license Diesel, plate. yes. So, or if like it's a, a Tesla, it's some yeah. take on I don't use gas. It's yeah. almost well, it's like 80, every it Tesla. It was 1988. Oh, so, so probably it was no. not a Tesla. Greed was good, according yeah. to Gordon mm -hmm. Gecko at the time. Mm -hmm. Terminator was just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Terminator 2 mm -hmm. was just around the corner. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the coolest plate you've ever come across. How can I pick just one? That's like asking well, a mother a which of her favorite children, which of her f children is her favorite. So instead of <laughs> instead of Mark's question, uh, Trista, which <laughs> he, is your favorite? Which, which child is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have children. Oh, damn um, it. So that question is so garbage. I get, I get out of that question as well. Um, I mean, I, I really love a lot of the license. I'm looking at the list right now. I really love a lot of the people because it's, for me, then it becomes more about the person behind the plate than it is the actual license plate. Um, but, you know, I have, I, so a license plate, I call it plate spotting. Plate spotting? Of course, you like do. train spotting. Yeah, like train wait, spotting, wait, but it's plate spotting. Was, the, correct the correct answer was hair metal. Oh, uh, was that the correct? Or don't be evil? Don't, don't be evil? No, 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 not that's that my one. favorite. That's my favorite. That's, that's an, an awful, awful one. one. That is trash. <laughs> trash. Trash. Like, trash. So I'm in a parking lot. Plate and spotting. Plate spotting. And I spot a big SUV. And the license plate is Meg's Man. Meg's man. I'm like, all right, that's good. I take a picture of it. I leave a postcard. Do you know I do, this is worse response rate than email leaving these postcards. Oh, like yeah. people probably throw them out. They end up at the bottom of their, you know, feet and they step on them and then throw them out. Very few people respond. But this guy was so excited that he didn't just fill out the form. He actually posted about it on the internet, on Facebook. Look what I got. And he tagged his, um, his Meg because he's Meg's man. Yeah. <laughs> and so we have I have them on the show. According, according to the license. license. <laughs> according to the license, yes. So I have them on the show. They're totally adorable. They're a blended family. They're engaged to be married. So they're telling me about their wedding coming up in the fall and like how they found each other and their love story. And I'm a sucker for a good love story. <clears throat> so now- my love story. Oh, all right. How in that? Shut up. <laughs> Well, so I, I had them on for a second episode because they, COVID happened, they eloped, they canceled the whole wedding, eloped, and now they're having a baby. Oh, oh yay. yay. I love that. Have they so changed had, their plate? No, he, his is Meg's man, 
and hers is Meg's Benz. Are they going to buy Meg's kid? At the, at the, <laughs> that's why. Right, that's why. Like lock that in lock right that now for in. for sixteen years ahead of time. <laughs> Meg's kid. Exactly. Like, that's a beautiful one. That's why I like that. I go into which plate have you not gotten on your show that you really really want on your show? Pee before we go. Oh my god, that's f- so phenomenal. Do you know the story about pee before we go? No. So pee before we go is an actual license plate in New Hampshire. Like, is it P or is it P E E? I think it's P B the number P-B-4. four. P B four. W E. Go. Okay. Yeah, I don't. So like I don't know peanut exactly. butter. Peanut butter. No, like, like P before we go. Right. Right. But the letter like, P, not. But, but it's PB. Okay. Right. Like right, peanut right. butter before. Yeah. Okay. I got you. But PB exactly. the number four. Like B four. So she gets the license plate. Her name is Wendy, I think. She gets the license plate, and she's driving around with it on her car. And I can't remember exactly what happened. If she got a ticket or something, but. The, um, somebody got wind of it being out there and thought it was offensive. Cause you know, every state has a list of offensive plates that you're not allowed to put on your car. Yeah. And it won't even show up if you search for it. It'll just say unavailable. Yeah. I know. I've been messing around with that. We've done that. Yeah. We've actually, uh, no, Curse words and- that with you. We did, we did something w- uh, with COVID that was like that with Jersey numbers on like, mm. sports uniforms and things. Okay. All right. So. All right. Yeah. That, so, so this was not there cause she had it on her car, but somebody in authority got wind of it, told her she had to get rid of it. She posts about it on social media. It gets shared. It goes viral. It gets picked up by a lot of news places. The governor finds out, pardons her plate. <laughs> the first what plate pardoning in human history. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon. So I, I want I want her on. Like the turkey on Thanksgiving from the president. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hi boshed. But she's super busy and she has not had time to be on the show. So I just keep following up. It's really testing my follow up skills. Yeah. It's hard. You know, we could all practice following up better. Do you have a spreadsheet? Yes, I do. Chris, what what's a spreadsheet? The spreadsheet? What's I'm that? the king of spreadsheets, unfortunately. What is that? I don't even know what that is. In addition, you want me to share my screen and show it to you? Oh, dear Lord. I do. Oh, I, will gosh. I be traumatized? You We're do, gonna right? Keep... No, okay, you're going to love it. Everybody's going to see it, so be careful. I know. I got it. Okay, Hold okay. Okay, just, okay, let me, okay. Let me yeah, just certain rows if you don't want to see. You know, yeah, if I don't want to I don't want to get anyone maybe in trouble. Remember, we, maybe, we're oh, not maybe, editing. Maybe you shouldn't. Just don't. No, no, I'm going to. But I'm going to. Yeah, but I'm going to hide... I'm going to hide the phone, email phone number kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like phone numbers, right. Contacts. Yeah. We're just curious. That's I know. I want to show it to you because I'm really proud of it. Hi. So Chris is a Virgo and Hi. he's organized. Oh, by the way, um, he's still single during this Jesus, podcast. He has dude. not found anyone yet. No one is. No ladies have come into the room and stolen my heart. I'm, I'm just saying, but you're a Virgo. So Vir, Virgo very is organized and cleanly. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. I just love God, beauty God. and chaos, and chaos. he loves the organization, and together, with our powers combined, we are captain. You love chaos, and I, and I love the Sepultura album, Chaos AD. Amazing. Amazing. That's, that's how we found love, Mark. That's, sir, it's, you complete me. G- kismet. Yeah, last podcast, you said I was Renee Zellweger, and you were Jerry Maguire, and I, I wanted did. to throw up. Well, I'm not Renee Zellweger. Yeah, because you think you she's that. crazy. Trisha, she's you can crazy. go now. You don't need to be here for this conversation. I don't even need to be here for this conversation. Oh, oh you're, you, whoa. Okay, okay I just learned how to edit, everybody. everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share it again because I've hidden Please. everything. Because this, this freaking spreadsheet is the bomb. I'm very proud of it. Including address, apparently. Okay, so anything bad? No. Just state. state. No, that's perfect. Yeah. So here's my here's my um, my spreadsheet. So it has all the plates, and these are the ones that have been published. And look, but what if it wasn't published? What if it was potential? Oh my God! Drop downs and stuff. Changes color. Oh my God! It's Google Sheets. What if interview was scheduled? It's green. 
Sir, sir I, think, I think you have a task <laughs> in between your real work. Oh my God. Look how amazing. That's beautiful. Right? And so you know, you know, every you single know our one. Method? You know our method is, oh, you haven't, no? Okay, bye. <laughs> Next. So look, so I have it all set up. If I've gotten that's their beautiful. plate yet, because I can't put it out until I have their plate picture. All right, You're so that's my amazing and wonderful um, spreadsheet. Did you like it? You liked oh, it, right? Hold on, let's see if we can do it. Yay! All right. So, so Trista, <laughs> tell us more. <laughs> my next question is, do what's the split percentages between male and female vanity plate holders? That's an interesting question. Yeah, that's like a real knock conscious question. You're welcome, Marcus. I think it's probably half and half. No way. It's got to be 5149. I think we definitely want those stats. I will get you the stats. But you know what's interesting that I noticed? I think it's half and half. Um, But something that I did notice very white. I could believe that. Well, now you have your first half Mexican, okay? Well, you're, you're not welcome. my you're not my first Latino char- uh, character. Character, <laughs> you said very, not all, sir. Nice. Um, Jeez. I actually, for June, I was really committed to having somebody for Pride Month, and so I had it out um, and proud and very uh, vocal transgender female. So that was amazing. But then you know the whole Black Lives Matter thing happened, and I didn't want to do a Black Lives Matter episode because this is human interest it's not political you know it's not current event right it's just about humans right and but who wants wanted, to hear who wants to hear about black lives matter from white people anymore it's well just, i mean i could have we, had we all a guest have a, expert but i decided yeah, i just like made yeah. a decision but For i sure. did notice that my entire catalog up to the point when i was looking at it was 100 percent white and i'm like you can't profile with a license plate really because yeah, i don't know who owns them until they say yeah sure i'll be on your show but i did go into social media and say like this is something i'm committed to i'm looking for someone who's a person of color and i had this amazing woman on and again we didn't even bring up the whole black lives matter thing at all <clears throat> excuse me but she is a doctor and she's <clears throat> a podcaster and oh she's awesome she's single She's not. Son of a nutcracker. Sorry. Does she yeah, like dogs? Not. I don't know. What? Come on. with You need to ask the, the tough questions. Are you single? Do you have dogs? See, I wasn't looking for your next wife. Damn it. Yeah, but now I will be. Now Thank you. I will be. Yes, you're right. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? Oh, sorry. Did I say those things out loud? Next wife. <laughs> he bonded a little bit when he was on my <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Trista, welcome to conversational open-ended forum Why type podcast. <laughs> uh, like a shock jock show. So good. Like, like so Camel good. Toe and the Man or something. Uh, I don't Camel care. Toe and the Man. I don't know. It's ridiculous. That's uh, an amazing name for a show. I, that, that's bad. Don't listen to me. I'm bleeping <laughs> that one out. What? No, I'm keeping no, it. No, keep that. Yeah, because I am fallible. I have problems, and I'm happy to share them. <laughs> but Chris, please. Dogs Chris, and, and not, not please. single. No, we're good. That, that was my end. That's my – I have no more questions, Your Honor. <laughs> have you seen, like, BLM in a license plate or anything? Anyone offered anything to you or reached no. out to you? No. No, I haven't. What's your thought behind it being a fluently Caucasian? You mean my license plate list? Your license plate list being Caucasian based. I don't know. I mean, it makes me wonder if maybe there just are fewer people of color that get vanity plates. I mean, well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe the places that I'm looking for plates are in a less racially diverse. Kind diverse. Of thank you. Right. area I, I don't i don't know i would love to know well, well let's break down the number right, right away just, just by, by the pure numbers, numbers 87.1 percent of vanity plates are, are not african-american black. black how do you know that what well because the population of, 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 of the u.s 12.9 percent 
So, so oh, 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 oh! I thought you knew how many specifically well, had it, vanity no, no, plates. No, no, I thought no, you were looking that up. General numbers, numbers just by but then I remembered this right. is not beer googles. This is not, <laughs> not kind. This, this is, is where brain, brain comes in, in. <laughs> and it's probably not good. But twelve point nine percent of the population is African American. So you should have about thirteen percent of you. So for every hundred plates, you should have thirteen. So one every seven or one every eight, something like that. Right now, it's one in 27. Okay, okay so, so we need, need to cut that in half. half. If you cut, you cut that, that in half, well, a third. third. If you cut, cut that in a third, third, I think you're right in that demographic. demographic so. so Yeah. And, and I, I'm, I'm curious what that answer will come. Hopefully, Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll find, find this information. Me that. too. And, and I really do hate being in environments where it's all one color, you know, all one race, all one type that bugs me because I feel like it's very exclusionary when it's like that. I, it like, I, I have a radar for it. So it's annoying to me that I never noticed that about my license plates. And I think it's because it's so hard to find the person behind the plate that when I find somebody willing to be on my show, cause it's fairly new. I started at the beginning of the year. I'm so grateful that somebody wants to talk to me right. <laughs> about their license plate story that it never occurred to me to be more picky and, and be more um, uh, purposeful about it. Sure. But I will say that um, a place that I've started to find people posting themselves with their plates so I can tell who owns it. I can see that, yes, you own a plate that's a vanity plate. Um, I'm seeing that on Instagram. So... <laughs> I can see who owns the plate and I can find people. And that's hard too, because a lot of times people just post license plate and I don't know if it's theirs or if they just saw it on the road. It's a mystery. Interesting. I mean, I, mean, I have, have some, some theories, theories, but I don't, I don't really, really know if they hold water. It's just where, where we focus on our disposable, disposable income, income if, if we have, have it. it. Yeah. You know, that, that would be part, part of it. it. Yeah. Um, that, I think it's know. interesting. If, if my podcast had a budget, I might put part of it onto. Uh, Figuring out some of that data. That would, that would be, be an interesting, interesting thing. You, you might be able to get a grant, grant for it. Ooh, interesting. That'd, That'd be, be like, like a scientific, scientific thing. thing. I work. I collaborate, collaborate with you. You on would, that. huh? Yeah. If, if you drank more coffee, you could get a grant. <laughs> for sure. I think that's my problem. I just get an urge to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to pee before you go, bro. Pee before you go. <laughs> that's a plate. Wow. Pee before we go, bro. That's what we call full circle, bro. Well, yeah, the license plate would say pee before you go, and the frame would just say bro. Bro. <laughs> yes, that's called a callback in comedy. Very, very good. Oh, Callbacks wow. are very, very good. Very well. yeah. This is the wrong podcast for that. We're too serious <laughs> for that. I don't, I don't want to be blocked in to just being knocked conscious. Yes. Or no, not at all. We would never pigeonhole you. Don't do it. Yes. Label, <laughs> see, Kier, was it Kierkegaard that said, uh, if you label me, do you not negate what I could be? Somebody said something like that something sometime like that. in the past. Yeah. Yes. I have yes. that one in there. It's one of my quotes that I always have to look at. Cause like, it's kind of like we talk about labels, right? Are you yeah. this out of that? It's like labels pigeonhole you just be you. Well, you could say that the podcast that I do is about that too. Like don't judge me by my license plate. Cause I'm way more than that. Right. Book by its cover. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But I have to say, personally, if I saw like a guy with four pop collars <laughs> get into a Mercedes <laughs> and it's like Chaz Benz, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm making assumptions. assumptions. You are, right? How I'm could you not? I'm just going to assume some things. <laughs> or an affliction t-shirt. Oh, God, off God don't make me. I forgot to mention this on the previous podcast that a friend of mine has the license plate golf love LUV because we only get seven letters in this hot state. <laughs> so, and he, uh, his, uh, he has a new wife and he doesn't uh, get to golf too much anymore, but he's also a surgical RN. So he spends oh, cool. 10, 12 days in surgery, 10, 12 hours in surgery. So to me, he's more, of an of a surgical he knows like oh yeah we we did baby heart surgery today you did what yeah we moved the a order this way and then we took the vein and we did this and then we did the thing and we flipped it over and then that way and uh wow. so he's to, in my mind he's more of a surgical per genius yeah yeah and he's been doing that for like 30 years yeah then, but if like exactly to your point, if somebody judged him, oh, he's a golfer. 
he saved hundreds of lives. Dude, I want him on my show, man. I will, yes. Chris Brooks, I will send him your podcast. Okay, good. No, and- Hello, Twitter world. Everyone blast Chris Brooks, who has a license plate, Golf Love. Golf Love. And if the glove does not fit. <laughs> you know, at least I let the person decide if they want their whole last name on the podcast. Oh, yeah. I know he said. Oh, my gosh, Mark, you are going to get so much editing practice. It. No, that one's staying in there. <laughs> Chris knows the rules very well. Chris knows the rules. We allow all our esteemed colleagues and guests who come on to the show. Yes, we will give, we will offer a little leniency because our show is ridiculous. But Chris well knows how. Chris knows the rules. I don't like rules, bro. I don't, (laughs) hello, Catholic school. I don't like rules. I don't follow rules. Tristan, I'm sorry that you're affiliating yourself with this show, apparently. It's all good, because your audience probably likes license plates. So. I bet you they do. Listen, I need more audience, so you guys, okay, well, after you're done listening to this, come check mine out. you got to yes. subscribe. So I have this great tip when you listen to podcasts. If you, There are so many podcasts out there, and you're going to forget which, what, the, what it was called. So what I do is I just subscribe. I just subscribe to the podcast the first thing I hear about it and I might not listen to it for months, but then when I want to see what I want to listen to, I'm like, Oh yeah, I wanted to try this one. If I hadn't subscribed, I wouldn't remember. Right. This is a crappy tip, right? Everybody who listens no. to podcasts knows to do this. I think you need That's just a great a spreadsheet. Point. I hadn't thought of that. I think okay, you just great. need a spreadsheet because you have one. <laughs> Like that's just personally my opinion. Just add a tab to the add spreadsheet. Tabs. Podcast.xls. It's super easy. All the RSS Podcast. feeds. You got it. Amazing. Bro, bro you're a genius. Bro. Has anyone told you that? Yeah. Dr. Genius. Dr. Genius. I'm just Mr. I'm waiting on my PhD. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, I thought it was Dr. Genius who told him he was a genius. Oh. Like only the doctor genius could tell you if you're a genius or not. And he certified him. That's what I thought. Uh, I mean, so he's secondhand certified, certified baby heart, heart replacement. replacement. Genius. <laughs> I mean, my brain hurt, man. Does, Does that fit on a plate? How do, it's oh, like, yeah, why you, you got to like, abbreviate it. Why do you have A-J-F-Q-P-T-J? <laughs> Can't you just put Dr. Genius? Exactly. Actually, Dr. Genius. So I don't know if you know this. Have, have, has Christopher shared his nickname with you? No. I, I mean, we talked for an hour. I don't know. I should have put this in my thing because I thought about getting this on my plate. Okay. Tell me. My nickname is Woodsy the Owl. Or, Why? Um, when I was 14, I was on the football team at my Catholic high school. And in the count in Orange County, California, when you play football, in every Catholic high school, you have to shave your head. A, a, a precursor what? to the current status. Is that, is that real? Like a hazing thing, kind of? like a Yeah, like it was tradition. Yeah. Like you show up for hell week. Oh, not the rules of the school, but no. like the... Well, yeah, it was the rules of the school. Of. Like, you get, you, like you show up for hell week, every, all four years. You show up for hell week, you get your little workout uniform, and you shave your head. Like, some, like the seniors shave all, all the guys. Like 300 dudes, freshmen, all, all of them. So I had these big... So round- it's dazed and confused. Except there was no wheat at all. None. <laughs> Because there was and no a, fuck you paddle, just because there was, was it, it, it was all these Catholics. There was no weed, so I had these big round glasses because I'm blind. So this big dude, he's like, he's 14 years old, and he passed away recently. God, may he rest in peace. Um, Brian Turk went on to play for USC, played for two years, mm, and nice. he became an actor. And he was he was actually in American Pie too for like five seconds and he, went out, he was on 90210. But he if goes, he was in Days of Confused, that would have been my psychic thing I, right there. He was oh, not. He was I should have picked American Pie 2. I should have picked American <laughs> Pie 2 of all the movies. All, all the movies. movies. He was in all the movies. So he goes, oh my God. He's like 6'3", 280 as a 14 year old. He goes, oh my God, he looks like Woodsy the Owl. Because I'm bald and I have these round glasses. And I'm not going to argue with this guy that's a foot taller than me and a hundred pounds heavier ass. than me. Yeah. So I just, and everyone's like, Oh my God, he totally does. So I made all these friends that protected me on the football field. Cause I was a munchkin. So 35 nice. years later, you know, I, and then I went to college with the guy that I went to high school with. So he took the nickname with me and then we joined the, our fraternity together. So I was Woodsy, Wood, Woody, Pecker, the owl, give a hoot, don't pollute. 
who, who, anything <laughs> of a derivative of that I've been called, which I don't mind at all. And now on the golf course, I'll play with the brothers and they'll go, nice drive, Wood. And it's just, it's hysterical how stu- nice. the stupidest. So I thought I like about getting it. Woodsy on the. On well, the- I remember when you were who, who. <laughs> I remember this story in college. And then you let the dogs out. I, I did. I let and then the someone wrote like a song about it. They're like, oh my God. I let the dogs out. You let the, let who? the dogs out. Who? Me. I mean, wow. totally. This guy. I had no idea. Yeah. So his name's Woodsy. Woodsy. Okay, I like it. I, and I forgot where I was going with this. I actually had a thought, but I now forgot. Because oh, there how many licks does it take you to get to the middle of a Tootsie Roll pop? Boom. My best friend did do that in uh, college, and he, it was like 3,400 and something. He actually did. He did it. Like a I've minute. tried wow. it so many times. One, two, three, Such a dork. God, love that guy. Anyway, exactly. So, <laughs> so that's, that's what it was. So when he came in today, Christopher, once again, Virgo, organized me, chaos. He comes in and he starts straightening things out. And he goes, you just need to listen to what would Woodsy do? And I'm like, new license plate, WWWD. <laughs> oh, yes. WWWD. Much better than what Jesus would do. Much better. <laughs> well, unless you're a Christian. Uh, well, we, I'm sorry, Trista. Do you have an issue against Jesus? No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally I'm totally <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I, we throw a lot of I've just never here. heard it that way. Well, we have, we're in Arizona. We're in a border state. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. we have a couple of Jesuses. All right. That's a good thing. <laughs> so, Christopher, so Christopher, continue. continue. That's all I Any got. Any other questions? The gender was my final question. <laughs> I'm sure I have nine more. They've already escaped me. So we, we covered genders about 50-50. We covered mm-hmm, races mm-hmm. very lopsided. So what, what do you think we can do to make it, uh, to get those numbers a little more? I think that the out. podcast just needs a bigger audience. It needs yeah. to be more popular. It needs to have a larger listenership because right now there's only two places that I really get license plates. One is if I put a podcast, you know, postcard on somebody's car And the other is through social media where I connect either through like a podcast guest thing. Do you know how many times I've said, wow, I just, I love your story. You'd be great on my podcast. Do you have a vanity plate? And they're like, no, that's a weird question. I I don't have one of those. Why wouldn't you still go on their show though? No, to have them on my show. Oh, because you need content too. I mean, well, right, right. right. So those are the only two ways that I really get guests. If I may Very, make, a, make a recommendation, I mean, maybe join yeah. some Facebook groups that are Black Lives Matters based uh, and get into that echo chamber that they put you in with the algorithms. And oh, you, that's a good idea. It's within that. Use social media to target your, the audience you want, right? Because we know social media is being used to target you know, certain groups and whatnot and put you in certain funnels and groups and echo chambers yeah. and cognitive biases and tribal tribes and whatnot. Just join some of those. You start joining them, they'll notice. Chris, keep it down. I'm so sorry. I Gosh, Chris, is that your it. dog? Is that your dog, Chris? No, that's both no, it was Chris. Dogs. That was me. I'm sorry. That was Chris. Uh, Chris, you're going to get as soon as this is over. I'm so sorry. Uh, my jowl is totally inflamed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jowls? Um, so Trista, we've got only a few minutes because I know you have it's true. another. I'm, I'm trying to give us as much time as I can. Tell, tell before before we just get cut off. Let's just wrap it up. Want, Let's wrap it up. Tell me all okay. your information, how we can get a hold of you, your Twitter, your Facebook, your social media, your flibbity floppity, and everything. Everything in this. So one thing I'll tell you is I'm really, really super well SEO'd. So if you just search Trista Polo. Can you help me? <laughs> or Trista's Plate Story podcast, you will find me. <clears throat> Took Trista years Polo. to curate. Years. T R I S T A space mm-hmm. P is in Peter O L O. Is that correct? Yes, one L. One L. Yes. In New York City, they always spelled my name like Pollo. Pollo. Oh, actually with we, have, one we, have, L. we eat a lot of Pollo. Because of, because of the Italian? Chicken. Right, but it's did it Spanish was that a, for chicken? Okay, right. Okay, I didn't yeah. know if it was like Mexican Spanish or like or Italian. Italian. No, it, it was could Spanish. be Italian. It was okay. Spanish. Yeah, it was Spanish. Um, so you can find me by just searching, and if you want to actually find me proactively, my podcast is everywhere. 
from Google to Spotify to iHeartRadio to YouTube, you can find. So just search the Trista's Plate Story podcast there. I'll and put then, a link in the, in the uh, notes. As yeah. Well. Do you have a specific link you want to share? Send it on over. I'll send it on over. Um, I have a website as well that uh, is iwokeupawesome.com. And um, that's my coaching and my online business site because I believe we all woke up and exactly as we are right now, just waking up, whatever we're wearing, however our hair is, we are already awesome. Yep. And so that's my website. I like the term fabulous <laughs> myself, but you know, it's okay. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Well, See, I, I I've had, had so, so much fun. fun. Me too. Also, um, also, today, today has been amazing because we, we were, were on your podcast earlier, earlier having separate, separate conversations. I know. This has been so much fun. We, we need, need to get, get you and your husband on beer Google. I think um, we should be on together. I love that idea. Let's do it. So I think that time, you should have him on for sure, and I think it would be so fun to do that with him and I together. Great. Is, Is there anything you want to share before we call it a day and you get to your next appointment? I just want to remind everybody that we are all doing our best. We're doing the absolute best we can. I think every one of us wakes up every day saying today's going to be a good day and I'm going to do the best that I can. And even if my best is pretty crappy, it's still my best. And so I think we have an opportunity to give each other the benefit of the doubt a lot more than we do often. And if we can all just give each other the benefit of the doubt, that we'd be a lot happier as a society. That's, That's a great message. message. Very so, well said. Understanding. understanding. Where's my applause right. tape? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, we got Boom. It. Oh, <laughs> All right. Whew. That was Thank beautiful. you. I needed that. You, well, that was excellent. Usually, Usually when after, after, after I say something very thought provoking, it's usually like this received this way. <laughs> anyway well trista thank you so much for being on chris do you have any final words any no sir words? thank you again it's been a real pleasure well, I thank really, you so we, much we guys. really appreciate it thank you we're I gonna wrap this up but we we'd want to have you on again right absolutely for sure so we're gonna play out this cutout music we're gonna edit that thing where you just doxed all those people on your spreadsheet oh my God. <laughs> Great. We're totally kidding. Bring that up more, please. (laughs) Hey, nothing like self-loathing that's the best thing in the world. So thank you so much for being on again. This has been another episode of Knocked Conscious, everybody. Bye. Once again, that was Trista Polo. She has a podcast called Plate Story Podcast, where she goes around and looks for vanity plates and gets the story behind them. If you have a vanity plate, please go on her website and submit it. I'm sure she'd love to hear your story. Thanks again for listening to our bonus episode of Knocked Conscious, and I hope you have a great day.